if you are trying to replicate the Chris Hemsworth physique as much as you can, I very much doubt you're going to be needing anywhere near 6,000 calories a day. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now because I can presume that you don't have super duper genetics. Do not do it. So the Board Hill here. Thank you very much for joining me as always. And that's right, we're going to talk about Chris Hemsworth. The latest Thor movie is out now. Some people love it, some people hate it. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm probably going to enjoy it because I like those movies. And of course, they're out there doing all of the press. And given that he basically just gets naked. Oh, flick too hard, damn it! In the film, people are asking him about getting naked, which has led Chris Hemsworth to talk a bit, a little about his training, a little about his diet, and what he plans to do in the future. Now, I found this on the, the Huffington Post with the headline, Thor star Chris Hemsworth says COVID-19 helped uh, him train through lockdown. Now, look, I'm sure Chris will be the first thing, first person to say this. He seems like a guy that has uh, his uh, head screwed on properly. I would never agree that going through COVID-19 was good for my training. I had to train in this flipping room that I'm in now. Now, it's not real. It's a green screen. If I turned off and looked around, you'd be like, Simon, you are literally filming in a box, which I am. Today, it's really hot and it sucks. And trying to train in here was an absolute nightmare. But again, Chris Hemsworth is in a very privileged position and good for him. I don't think we should kick down on those kind of things. We should look up how cool that he's worked hard and he's now a Hollywood superstar. Wouldn't it be great if we could all follow suit? So the interesting part is it doesn't go into the details that I would like. But the very first thing it throws in there is Hemsworth told the newspaper uh, USA Today he was talking to where this has been ripped from. He had a routine featuring swimming. Good. Good for the joy. Martial arts, also good, especially for all the stuff he needs to do in the movie. And a diet of 6,000 calories a day. Now, Chris Hemsworth is around about six foot two, six foot three, I believe. And look, he looks flipping amazing in the movie. And who knows what he was doing or what he wasn't doing. Do I actually think he was taking 6,000 calories a day? No, I do not. Maybe during the bulking phase, maybe during the COVID-19 bit where we didn't see him, it was like, eat 6,000 calories a day, eat 6,000 calories a day. But if you are trying to replicate the Chris Hemsworth physique as much as you can, I very much doubt you're going to be needing anywhere near 6,000 calories a day. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now because I can presume that you don't have super duper genetics. Do not do it. That is not good advice. Um, otherwise, Hemsworth said it was train, eat, train, eat. Obviously, we know about this. Nothing else to do than I turned up for the film bigger than I've ever been. And this was an interesting line. The actor said his wife stated his new look was too much, which has kind of become a meme on the internet these days. It's like you get in shape. You must have seen it. You get in shape and all the dudes are like, oh man, you look really jacked bro and all the girls like i don't care man <laughs> go out leave my space i don't want to talk to you which is kind of a true you think you're going to sort of get a bunch of dates because you get jacked whereas you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder some people will love it and some people think you're an absolute goof hemsworth said balancing training eating and sleeping with 12 hours days on set was something different and it wore him out this is something i think is important too it was horrible hemsworth said i won't do it again they can give me a fancy muscly costume next time i'm done now you know say what you will about actors they do work damn hard i mean 12 hours doing anything straight especially when you need to be on and putting that energy out there is going to be tough but of course with Hemsworth because he needs to look a certain way through the movie and of course when he did the topless scene that would have been dialed in in a very different way but you still want to have that size throughout a you know two hour movie whatever the hell it is and probably took about five months to shoot so it basically would have been five months I bet with a trainer on hand a dietitian on hand a nutritionist on hand all being like Chris you gotta do this Chris you gotta do that right go shoot something come back eat go, do this make sure you train it is hard work as much as you love it when so much money is riding on you and because we're human beings and when we look in the mirror you're gonna go oh I look absolutely rubbish it makes perfect sense as to why you would react this way like you just would and I think sometimes we need to humanize these things because otherwise we go crazy hence why he also says it was horrible I wouldn't do it again they can give me a fancy muscly costume next time a lot of people say this it's like when people do marathons you ever gonna do another one no I never want to do it again then six months goes down the line and you don't remember the good bits and you decide you know what I don't mind at the moment Hemsworth is uh, I think signed on to do a Hulk Hogan movie where he'd probably have to get even bigger I would presume Hulk Hogan is not a small man and I don't think you're gonna be be able to pull it off with a with a muscly costume However, let's just take it in the context that it's presented us uh, to or in and that's he struggled I suppose is the best way to put it so much for trying to keep that weight no matter what I don't care what he's doing it still comes down to hard work and mental power that right now that he's done and he has dropped it all go look at his Instagram like, he does not hold this weight 12 months around it is done very specifically for a very specific role but even he is now saying you know what I don't want to do it again and next time you can use prosthetics or CGI or whatever the hell that it may be so when you are looking at Chris Hemsworth going Chris you are amazing look at your pecs 
deep down in his tum tum, he's going, this sucks. <laughs> this absolutely sucks. It's a lot of hard work. And he probably wasn't very happy. Now, I'm sure he'd be happier than the rest of us. He's making a movie. He's rich, blah, blah, blah. All those things do tie in, but there's never going to be one thing that's going to make you happy. But you have to keep this in your brain, no matter who you see on the internet. Social media, in many ways, is just a lie, or it's very much a perception is reality kind of a deal. Like, I can pose a picture of me looking super duper ripped in front of my fake PlayStation background and be like, man, life is so great. And then I turn the camera off and I go sit down. And I think, man, I feel like crap today. That happens a lot. So do not think that Chris Hemsworth is walking around with the biggest smile on his face just because he's super duper jacked. Don't get me wrong. We all want to be super duper jacked, but it's not the uh, the be all and end all. And they also mentioned, we did videos on this too, how multiple action stars have spoken out about the unattainable standards and intense body scrutiny placed on actors in superhero movie. Can never pronounce the director's name, even though I love him and he's one of my favorites. Taika Watiti, I hope I got that right, also weighed in and said it was crazy to see how big Hemsworth got ahead of the movie. He's huge already, but when I saw his arms, they were twice as big as normal, as wide as my head. Trainers and stuff are asking me how he does it, but it's all natural. Interesting that he threw that in there. I don't want to get into this uh, discussion. I've told you before, I think the best way you should approach all of this is just presume that everybody takes something and then you don't have to drive yourself crazy, right? If you just assume that every physique you see is out that you like is unattainable. <laughs> because they're on something, then your mental health is going to be better. And that's not me saying he is or he isn't. I just think that's the best way to do it because we're never going to know. So why drive yourself crazy about it? It doesn't seem worth. Hemsworth's natural approach to getting bed, uh, what? Hemsworth's natural approach toward getting bigger led to a on Nashrial look in the movie, of course, because he, he got naked and you see his ass. And Watiti, in an interview of Variety last month, said the Thor star had to show off his body in the movie. My whole thing was like, Chris works so hard, you've got to show it off. Don't cover it up with all these suits and the cape and stuff. It's not fair. I actually agree with that. You know, you put a lot of work in. You probably do. If I looked like that, I would never do any of my videos with my top on. I just wouldn't. And do you know what would happen? One... I would get more views because I could put it in the thumbnail. And two, it's probably quite a good USP. Like, I mean, look at Liver King, right? I mean, it's a weird one to come to my head. Loads of people do it. But Liver King walks around. Look, at, he's always naked. Literally always naked. He goes on podcasts and he's naked. And he probably wouldn't be doing that if he was a massive fat guy. So there you go. I just, uh, the 6,000 calories thing, I would throw out there. I wouldn't worry about that. If you're into Chris Hemsworth's center app, do I think he trained like that for Thor? Probably not. I think there's going to be far more heavy compound movements involved. But again, I don't know. It's difficult with this kind of stuff because any kind of app that you have to pay for, you need to be confident. But I would implore you to go read reviews and not just go, oh, it's Chris Hemsworth. I'm going to look like him because that's not how the world works. But it's the mental side that I think is the most important thing. Here's Chris Hemsworth. I'll be one of the best physiques in all of Hollywood right now saying, man, screw that. I don't want to go through it again, even though he has the money and the people around him and the wherewithal and the reason to try and throw himself into it. So go to the gym, get yourself in shape, be fit, but remember that there's so many other things in life that you need to make sure are ticking along. Don't get dragged down by it. Don't let it become the only thing in your life because it's never going to work. And then it will adversely affect your training because you're putting too much pressure on your shoulders. And that's probably a reason that Hemsworth doesn't want to do it again either. Millions of dollars at stake here. And it's great for him because he gets those millions of dollars. But you know, come, let's say, 12th of July, random date I'll just pick out there. Is it the 12th of July today? No, it's the 11th. That must be why I'm thinking about it. But the 12th of tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, Chris Hemsworth knows that he needs to do the scene where he takes his top off and he's going to want to look as good as possible. He has to look as good as possible, especially in the day and age of the internet where you will be torn to shreds. I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. He couldn't win. That's a lot of pressure on somebody's shoulders, and it is. And I like to humanize these people because they were all in the same position that we were at one time. And even with all this amazing stuff that he's got around him, still a bit of a shrug emoji. So remember that and just train for you. You're only in competition with yourself. I will say that over and over again on my videos because I think it's important. That's it. Do better than you did yesterday. Do better than you did last week. Add, you know, an extra half an inch to your arms over however long it's going to be. Three, four, five, six months, probably a bit longer. You know, trim an extra couple of inches off your waist over a prolonged period of time. Do all these things. Write this stuff down. And then you'll feel great because you're like, oh, I was a 37 inch waist. Now I'm a 35.5 inch waist. I did it. I put in the work. I put in the time. Now I get a pat on the back like Barry Horowitz. That's all it is. That's all fitness is. Don't get too crazy with it. See you soon. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell. Ding, ding. So you know other videos are going live. There will be a video on the screen. Please do give it a click because YouTube loves it. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you're looking for supplements that I back up, I would say grillamind.com. For us, Simon, you can sign and get 10% off. And tomorrow, so that is Tuesday the 12th. Maybe this was in my head. They are doing a site-wide sale. So you can get anything. Uh, you can get any product with 20% off if you just use the code Simon. 
starts at some point tomorrow. I think 6 p.m. UK time, but you'll be able to figure that out. Also in Greg Doucette's Power 13 Cookbook at Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Patreon.com for Simon316 for lots of things, including, including exclusive reaction videos. We can't do them on YouTube anymore because every single one gets absolutely murked. On Cameo, if you want to shout out, Simon.BigCartel.com for merch. Otherwise, I appreciate you stopping by. Remember, treat yourself nice. Be good to yourself. See you soon.